Hey guys, our decline here, average picker. Um, yeah, so I didn't get any videos done last week. Um, just busy and on kind of a picking slump, and I think it was a bit more of a slump uh, than what I kind of thought it was. But I've been sitting around doing a lot of practicing and stuff, and uh, and a lot of challenge lock making. Um, I've been putting together a little project here for Fast Charlie. It's a little bit different. Uh, I mean, they're challenge locks, but kind of mixing some stuff. I might do a video on it. Um, it's not super interesting or anything, but a little off the beaten path. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's pick a challenge lock. It's only like 2 a.m., right? So we've got this one here. Um, oh crap, who's this by? This is called uh, The Stranger, and it's by West Coast Picks. And we'll see what we can get here. So hopefully, Hopefully I'll be back in a, I'm back in okay form <laughs> with the picking. I think I just I got kind of lazy. Um, yeah, with the picking. Um, okay, I'm not getting a whole lot here. going the other way yeah I think I just kind of hit this like oh I got this thing and I just kind of let myself go and I was slowly losing some of the picking skill I think I was starting to get to this like I don't know, I don't want to say desire, but this just getting too fast. I was using a lot harder tension. I was picking a lot more rapidly than what I probably should have been. Let's go back counterclockwise. There we go. Go, we're in. I got a little quiet there. Sorry about that. Let's see what we can get here. Angle this down a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a bit dark, so I'm filming late at night. A few bulbs are burned out. Yeah, I think it just kind of got this kind of complacent. Oh, I got this. And I didn't realize I was really just slowly letting the skills go. I had to kind of step back and get back to the basics. All my followers are actually in the other room. Oh shit. That's not gonna fit. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so I know cut's not an ideal way to do it, but I had to go get the follower. Um, I do think 
tomorrow. Probably gonna order another set of followers. And that means I'll probably be doing a giveaway soon. Five, it's got a little serration in it. Four, kind of a spool. Another little serrated guy. You know, in all the challenge lock building I was doing, because I made some to send a thumper, so which he got and did a package opening on and uh, these ones for Fast Charlie. It looks like we've got threading in chambers three and five. Um, but yeah, I ran into an interest, interesting problem with a couple of them and I wish, I should have probably saved them, but you know, I needed to get them made and out there. A little nice serrated guy in one. Um, but I may do a little video on that too, because it was kind of interesting. I had the same problem occur two different ways. So we might do a video about that tomorrow. Is this a pin and pin? What's going on here? What have we got? No. Oh, it's just, oh, it's one of those, it's a pin with just a thing taken out of the side. Yeah, oh, it's just one of those random kind of pins. You know, oh, we got a couple of those. These guys are really neat. Um, picked a couple locks before with pins like this where they're just kind of gouged out of. Come on, you gonna come out of there? And they produce very interesting results. Oh, and another one. And I don't think we have anything going on upstairs. All right, well, let's, uh, let's flip the camera around and take a look at this guy. So I did forget to show our key earlier. So there it is, the stranger by West Coast Picks. There's our bidding. And we can see we've got, or I can see, I don't know if you can. There we go. Get out my shadow out of the way. The threading on three and five. You know, the way this is flattened out a little bit. I don't know if he did it or came like this. Uh, I've been opening a lot of locks lately to do all the, get all the challenge locks built. And man, I have seen some of the worst work done. I mean, and these aren't challenge locks. These are like stock home Schlage locks. And I don't know if they went through a locksmith or what, but they've just been horrendous, some of the things that were done. Um, and I can see how some of them stopped working. So yeah, a lot of our pins though in this lock are like this where they're gouged out on the sides. This makes a really neat kind of almost randomish uh, aspect when you go to pick these. I should probably leave these out. I could do a challenge lock pin video um, using these as an example because I've never actually made one. I don't have any on my table in the back room to draw from for a video. I don't even know what you really call these. Swiss cheese? I don't know. Come up with some kind of name for them. Wow. That is some deep, steady gouging. I also, I don't know if I know a good way to make the gouges, other than I guess you can clamp it up and just kind of brutalize it with the file and rotate it some. These are very methodical, much, these are much more planned looking um, than some previous locks I've picked with similar setups. Let's 
So yeah, I'm not quite sure how West Coast picks went around doing these. So take a look at the number five there. Just a nice little serration on them. Spool element there. This guy's pretty much like five. Yeah, very consistent. And that one, you can see we've got another little element there, a little spool. Yeah, so there we go. It's good to uh, be steadily picking again. So yeah, I think I'm going to be picking a little bit slower. I know some of my last challenge log videos, I had some pretty quick open times. Um, but honestly, I was just being sloppy. Um, I think I just need to slow down and uh, keep the steady work going and get some more regular practices in than what I was doing before. But yeah, it feels good to get another video out here. So there we go. The Stranger by West Coast Picks. Um, thanks, West Coast, for pinning that up. And I'm going to say thanks, Fast Charlie, because I'm pretty sure this one came from Fast Charlie. Could be wrong on that though, so if you sent this to me instead, um, I apologize, thanks to you instead. Um, but yeah, there we go, and you guys have a good night.